I'm really excited to introduce you to Edge Runtime, which we just released a few weeks ago. Edge Runtime does three things. Number one, it tracks asset runtime hours and efficiency. Number two, it tracks downtime events. And number three, it enables usage-based maintenance plans. And the best part is it does all of this automatically. All you need to do is take one of our current sensors, like, like I have here, clip it onto your asset's power supply, and Edge Runtime takes care of the rest. Let's see what that looks like. Here you can see that we've set up Edge Runtime in one of our facilities, and we're tracking the runtime of four assets. At a glance, you can see the runtime hours of each asset, as well as a basic efficiency calculation that lets you know which assets are performing as expected and which ones aren't. If an asset isn't performing as expected, like this refrigeration unit here, you can, you can take a look at the asset directly in your upkeep account with a simple click. From here, you have access to all your usual upkeep options and workflows, like work orders, parts and updates, and everything else, so you can address the issue as appropriate. And as I mentioned, Edge Runtime also tracks downtime events. All you have to do is simply opt in on the general settings page by clicking this simple checkbox here, click Save Changes, and now, anytime that Upkeep Edge Runtime detects that your asset is off when it should be on, we'll create a downtime event here and it will show up and you can triage as appropriate. Edge Runtime also enables usage-based maintenance plans. All you have to do is have Edge sync a special meter in Upkeep that tracks total runtime hours. So all I have to do is do that, click this checkbox, Hit save changes. And now I'll have a meter within upkeep that tracks those runtime hours. With this meter in place, I can set up work order triggers to trigger at specified hour intervals, and it'll automatically create a work order, which you can see here, just a standard work order. And that's automated usage-based maintenance. You don't have to do anything, don't have to inspect, don't have to uh, send out text. It just happens automatically, courtesy of Edge Runtime. The final feature I want to touch on is operating hours. Not all assets run on the same schedule, and not all assets run around the clock. So we give you the ability to set your asset schedule so all of our calculations are accurate, and we're tracking downtime appropriately. You can set predefined operating hours, so every day from well, whatever hours you specify, weekdays. And then if you have a little bit more of a nuanced schedule, you can set a custom range. Here you can accommodate odd hours, lunch breaks, you, know, you name it. So say I wanted to say my asset was running from uh, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and maybe it runs from 9 a.m. to uh, 12. And then let's say that we have a lunch break from 12 to one, and then our assets going to run from one to five. That's all I have to do, hit save changes, and now my runtime calculation will be updated accordingly. Before it was 32%, now it is 76. So again, it gives you that ability to modify your schedule so that the data is accurate. And one last, uh, one, two more quick points. Um, number one, uh, you can the, the all of these calculations are based on a specific time period. So you can select last 24 hours, the last week, you can select uh, last month, or you can select a custom range. So you can get a, a very accurate sense of your run times so again on, on specified periods. And then finally, you have search, so you can quickly hone in on a particular uh, asset, it's a fuzzy search, so it will uh, find anything that's close to the, uh, to the search term that you've specified. So that's Edge Runtime. Again, uh, automated tracking of runtime hours and efficiency, uh, tracking downtime events, and enabling automated usage-based maintenance plans. Check it out.